What's good, YouTube? Welcome to another content, another episode of my channel. This is Hatezio Israel, man. Thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel. Um, this right here is called Wisdom Take No Breaks. Okay? One thing about wisdom is it must be applied like you breathe air. We are in um, a time and in a world where uh, we around uh, people who are very slick, very crafty, and unwise. Okay? But they wise to do evil, man, but they're not very wise to do good. A lot of us, man, um, we put our trust in man. And once man fail us, man, it's like we don't know what the hell to do. And it's like wisdom is is swept underneath the rug and we up here try to freestyle, you know what I'm saying, whatever. So wisdom got to be applied in all types of situations where um, you got to be cordial and you got to be at peace with all men, okay? Um, cause people, they peep things, man. They can, they can sense what's in a person's spirit. They may not, you know, know the thoughts of the man, but the spirit is what they pick up on. And there's a lot of people of color who are soft, who love everybody, who, who want to trust everybody, want to befriend everybody. And then once they get stabbed in the back, you know what I'm saying? Put in a situation where they're vulnerable and can't defend themselves. Now they're regretting the choices that they've made. Um, wisdom got to be applied when you speaking to people. And when people are helping you and assisting you with things, wisdom has to be applied. When people are doing free things for you, like giving you treats, giving you rides and everything, you got to think in the back of your head, like, why the hell are they doing this? Why are they doing all this nice shit? You know what I'm saying? You know, so you got to use wisdom, man, at all times when you are in a presence of people who are um, who are your, your managers, who are your bosses and all that type of stuff. You got to use wisdom. You know what I'm saying? You can't really do and talk how you want to talk and feel because these people are paying you. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not um, making your own money. And you get to call shots like you want to. You know what I'm saying? You don't have your own business. So when you work in a store, retail, or anywhere else, man, these are places where you got to be very, very humble. You got to be very wise. And there are women out here, very sensitive women, who are prideful with that manly spirit that got, you know, pants and who aren't modest. You know what I'm saying? They will somewhat challenge you. And try to trap you up. And they already in their heads think you as the enemy. Okay. They think they got a penis down to their feet. That's that's And they, they think that they got balls dragging to the floor. You know what I'm saying? They think they can fuck you up real good. I'm going to just tell it to you straight. So we got to be very, very wise when dealing with nice people. People who uh, do good things for you you know say saying they watching your back saying that you know say if you need anything just let us know depend on us so you know saying we have to like really really pray and study and fast for understanding on how to deal with uh people who do nice things but inside they hate your guts they cannot stand you. They can't stand the way you smell. They can't stand the way you look. They say, oh, I got black friends. You know what I'm saying? You got to use wisdom when dealing with people who are designed to rule over you and take charge and, and uh, make your life hell. You know what I'm saying? It's not enough when, uh, when a person who says sorry, kneeling down to their feet, and wearing eccentric and African clothing. That's a bunch of, of BS. Okay? All that stuff don't make no sense. 
okay? Only thing they doing is calming down the hearts and the minds of, of, of black folks who are irritated and pissed off of the murders that's been going on. You have to apply wisdom when you going out there and protesting. That's what can happen. You get shot up with rubber bullets, maybe real bullets. Blow your shit off the, the blow your head off your shoulders. And they get a paid leave. Okay? They're very slow, very slow to bring judgment on wicked evildoers who has stolen this land, made it theirs, and telling us what to do and how to live. How to survive, how to uh, take care of ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about a doctor is, you know what I'm saying, they will encourage you to take vaccine shots and and take your medicine and all that type of stuff. Use discretion, you know what I'm saying? That's between you and the Lord and the doctor. You know what I'm saying? Nobody says for you not to take medicine. But, you know, the Lord says, you know what I'm saying, every herb bearing seed, man, it's, it should be used for meats and medicines. You know what I'm saying? Do your research on anything that you're doing. A lot of, a lot of people, man, don't want to follow instructions want to do their own thing freestyle freestyle their whole life till they drop dead you know what I'm saying so when I do songs man I wait until um, my spirit and my faith get built up and I learn you know what I'm saying I just don't want to put bullshit out there I actually want to put a message in my songs to actually wake people up and talk real and, and relate to them. You know what I'm saying? That takes skill. That takes patience. A lot of people were blessed with natural gifts where they could just spew out the mouth and, and talk about all types of stuff. As for me, I have not grown up, you know what I'm saying, trying to survive and, and sell drugs and, and know about that hard life. Only thing I've grown up is, is seeing my parents struggle to take care of me. And put themselves in dangerous situations, sinful situations, examples of of adultery and fornication right in front of my face. I've witnessed a lot of things and a lot of downfalls that my parents put themselves in just to make sure they were straight and I was straight. You know what I'm saying? If they would have kept the laws of the scriptures, man, you know what I'm saying? Things should have been running pretty smooth for them. But... It's up to me to do my part to not repeat the generational curses that they have done. You know what I'm saying? My dad had a real good uh, paying job. He was working for uh, public transportation. He was able to take care of me and kids that was, wasn't even his own. And at the end of the day, the man didn't get a thank you or uh, uh, thank you for being my dad or any of that shit. You know what I'm saying? It was just like we were just there to survive our damn selves. And he was just, just feeding us and, and, give, and clothing us and giving us drink and everything. You know what I'm saying? But in these times, man, these evil last days, man, people are losing their minds. They're losing faith. They don't have no solutions. Religious pastors of mega churches with billions and millions of dollars in their bank accounts don't know what the hell to do. To, to survive and defend themselves in a racist, demonic country. They are the most uh, motive, powerfulest, motivational speakers, man. Talking about prosperity and all this extra stuff. But when it comes to our people getting gunned down destroyed and, and, and killed in massive numbers they don't know what to do they don't know how to tell the truth as it is they don't know how to look in that bible that talks about the past present and future or what's happening to us they don't know how to search the scriptures and give us a solution they on national tv on social media on youtube looking like an idiot 
you know what I'm saying, looking like a fool. And you got billions of dollars in your bank account and you're a pastor of mega churches. You got churches all over the country. And you don't have no solutions to give us. You cannot teach us wisdom. The only thing is you're just a motivational speaker that talk about your experiences and, and how good it is to have faith in the Lord. You don't talk about no works. Faith without works is dead, man. You know what I'm saying? If your message is not teaching a man how to be a man, you know what I'm saying? A boy how to be a boy, a woman how to be a woman, and a girl how to be a girl, man. Everything you spooling out your mouth is nonsense. Only thing you're doing is supporting white supremacy. Just tell it to you straight. There's, there's, there's no order in, in white supremacy, man. It's confusion. We are living in Babylon the Great, man. Babylon means land of confusion. Babel. You know what I'm saying? When the Lord had to confound the language because they wanted to build a tower. They trying to be like God. Be like, okay, you you no longer a people who speak the same is, is going to understand each other. He confounded the language and now they got to go their own separate ways and be divided. Okay? And and uh, we have a God that is very patient with us. We don't we don't really understand that thing. We have a thought a thought process that goes against His program. And when you go against the program of God, you're going to be confused. You're going to run into situations and not know how to deal with them situations. So my only tool is when nobody is is um taking me serious nobody is learning from me i can't learn from them i gotta learn from the scripts i gotta search the scriptures and and apply you know you know what I'm saying the instruction um also this channel right here this this youtube channel that i'm talking right now it may not be something for you to understand you may have a, a childish spirit you will see this video and go about your business. But I'm speaking to people who are mature, who are young and mature, who are grown. Because you got people who are old and childish. they kids. Even though they have back pain, they have bad vision, bad whatever attributes that an old person suffer from. Spiritually, they kids. They go into a store and they bird watching booty. Tissy titties pussy ass you know you got horny women who wearing sausage skin pants looking at your crotch to see how long your dick is in your pants see what you done pulled up in where you stay at you know what I'm saying seeing how they can take control and and you be their source of, of income and they can go. That's what they doing. They they looking for plugs to support their wicked ass lifestyle to their destroyed, knowing damn well that God is documenting them. It is only a very small remnant of people who <clears throat> applies wisdom every single day of their life, every night of their life. You know, people who are married, they gotta use, they gotta apply wisdom. How um, I speak to my wife. Uh, speak to my children communication period you got a family wisdom got to be applied man when wisdom ain't applied guess who's in charge your woman and your children and you are the kid you are the dog you are the bird in that cage you are the fish in a bowl you are one grain of rice in a bag that could be boiled alive you ain't shit you know what I'm saying you the paint on the wall you just there you know what I'm saying? And you the one who was, uh, who's, who's supplying the food and making sure you guys ain't homeless or worried about y'all getting kicked out the place. You know what I'm saying? Those of us who are really educated with good paying jobs and those of us who are working a job where we're barely surviving 
and the only options we have is living in a homeless shelter or somewhere in the hood you know what I'm saying where we are at risk of dying or getting set up or even in you in, in the suburbs you in a, in a peaceful quiet smooth environment but you got you know people acting kind of funny um, this video could have been a little bit more longer I could have started a little bit earlier okay it is a uh, 2:37 a.m. and I have to upload this video. Um, but I could have, you know, started my video a little bit sooner. But you know, you got people who are nosy, you know, saying want to be in my conversation and everything like that. So I have to use wisdom and and play them at their own game. You know, what I'm saying if I really turn up the heat, you know, what I'm saying and embraced. Who I truly am and how I truly feel, I will be putting folks on blast. I would be like, man, what are you doing sitting right here next to me, man? Go on about your business, man. Fuck off and go somewhere, man. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be at peace with all men, you know what I'm saying? Because you cannot um, be in a place where everybody can't um, talk to you and, and be around you you know what I'm saying like the word says I think in uh, Psalms uh, somewhere in Psalms I don't want to quote the scripture in the verse because I'll have it wrong but what it says when a, man, when a man's ways please the Lord he make his enemies at peace with him you know what I'm saying why would he say your enemies be at peace with you the reason why he says they be at peace with you because they're not on the same page and the same agenda as you. They don't believe what you believe in. But he will have a person, you know, saying, uh, show you mercy. Probably give you a ride to work. Um, when people are hating and plotting against you, you may be informed. You will be warned when you are dragging your feet and slacking off. You know what I'm saying? Your enemies will warn you. You know what I'm saying? And let you know, like, hey, you ain't gonna make it, man, if you don't pick, you know, put some pep on your step. You know what I'm saying? You we our business here is like a revolving door. People come and people go. You know what I'm saying? And it looks like, you know what I'm saying, you about to go, man, because you ain't, you know, you ain't following protocol. You know what I'm saying? So there's just a lot of rules and a lot of instructions to obey. To, to go by when you are working for the man um, the one who um, the descendants of those who put us in, in captivity and slavery and God making us serve them in one of all things it is a struggle and it is a pain where I have to uh, work you know saying on, on, on the Sabbath day and work on and work days where I'm trying to get my uh, place established, make things comfortable. You know, what I'm saying there ain't no um, no AC in my apartment. You know, what I'm saying I live in the hood. I live in a place where I am constantly watched. Um, uh, people are, um, you know, what I'm saying just just I don't know being a neighbor. You know, what I'm saying I'm not really like I said I'm not really a people person. And I have to, um, I have to adapt, and I have to grow, and I have to mature around those people who are not on the same page or same agenda as me. The way I live at home is not how most people live at home. The way I live is I like to burn fragrances, I like to burn incense, I like to burn something that purifies the atmosphere of my home. You know, so I like to send up prayers. You know what I'm saying? I like to relax. I like to kick back. When I have a hard day at work, you know what I'm saying? I like to chill. I don't like a whole lot of furniture and, and all like a whole f lot of BS in my house. You know what I'm saying? Because with furniture and all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? You got bugs and all type of stuff that like to live in that crap. You know what I'm saying? I like to have something that's spacious and kind of empty for real. You know what I'm saying? I like to have a bed and a TV and, and, some, and some little bit of entertainment. But, you know what I'm saying, my home is, is set up a little bit different than most people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people got to have decorations and pictures and all that extra stuff. I don't really need all that. You know what I'm saying? I just need some things where after I'm done serving a man, putting in my time, 
breaking up my body you know sin and and all that type of stuff i like a place where that covers shame and and, and helps me relax and, and get recharged you know what i'm saying but yeah man wisdom has to be applied when you're at home wisdom has to be applied when you're around people you grew up with your friends your your um your friends could be your enemies why because your friends is not on the same page spiritually uh, where you at you know what I'm saying you may have friends who who have uh, who, who will let you know um, I need constant sex I need people in and out of my my bed I don't need that shit but that's the way they live you know what I'm saying people are, are natural uh, whoremongers that's the only thing they talk about is ass and 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 wanting to chill and, and play games and all that. You know what I'm saying? There are people out there who, who don't want to grow up. They don't think it's beneficial. They don't think that uh, wisdom has to be used as, as if you are breathing air. You know what I'm saying? Um... But yeah, man, wisdom has to be applied in every situation, even when we are comfortable and we are tired. That has to be applied. Like when I'm on the clock, you know what I'm saying? I just thank the Lord that there's there's uh there's no restrictions on you having earbuds in your ear to listen to your music or whatever you listen to. Me, I listen to um the word of God. I sometimes will play um Bible uh, audio Bible. Um, I'll tune in to um, IUIC and, and um, hear the prophets bring it out as I work. I use this job to, uh, you know, help burn the fat. You know what I'm saying? I do like a lot of walking. I'm on my feet all day. You know what I'm saying? Only time I get to sit down is when I'm on lunch. You know what I'm saying? But I still have to apply. I still have to apply wisdom. You know what I'm saying? That thing has to be used as if I'm breathing the air like I'm doing now. You know what I'm saying? Because there are people who I work with that's not on the same agenda as me. You know what I'm saying? You may have people who may say hello, but you may have people who really are afraid of you, hate your guts. They are strong fem feminists. You know what I'm saying? They they don't like a, 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 the presence of a, a strong, wise man around them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women don't like strong, wise men around them. You know what I'm saying? They hate that thing. They, they they don't want to be. They don't want to feel like, you know, say they gotta respect a man when when they when they uh, dealing with him. You know what I'm saying? Every every woman who's wearing pants, they either uh, misunderstood. They need to be informed more information on re how to repent. You got some people who don't want to hear no wisdom at all, and say kick rocks. I don't want to hear nothing spiritual. Or what that Bible has to say you know what I'm saying so every day I work you know what I'm saying there's temptation you know what I'm saying when I'm um, when I'm empty in uh, empty boxes you got the big booty Judy chick right in front of me man switching her big fat ass and I have to bust the corner I have to look up I have to look down or to my left or to my right to try to avoid the the uh the thing that my flesh likes because you know, trust and believe man i like a woman who got a nice butt you know what i'm saying but i i gotta leave that thing alone bro because that'll get me into a world of trouble man that will have me destroyed and it's like it gets worse every single day when a when a black woman or any type of woman gets a check they want to upgrade themselves they want to wear tighter pants and they want to send out mixed signals and mixed messages out there to try to get me out of my my, uh, my spiritual journey. Out of my godliness. You know what I'm saying? They they wanna they wanna play cat and mouse. They wanna act like the victim. Oh, why are you looking at me? Why are you staring at me? They want they wanna play these games, man. And I'll be like, man, Lord, move them out the way or help them repent something. Get them out of my face. You know what I'm saying? Because it's already a struggle on the job and it's a struggle going home because you got people, you know what I'm saying, in the front front yard, you know what I'm saying, talking loud and, and smoking weed and crack. 
and all that. You know, so you may have neighbors having uh, having uh, sex real loud next door. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, and it's crazy. You got to tune that out. You know what I'm saying? So wisdom take no breaks when it comes to me. I don't know how you guys out there on YouTube use wisdom or if you apply it or know what it is. But wisdom is a, is a defense. It's going to save your life. Wisdom will protect you when you are trying to get your money to, to, to maintain your, your, your life and to keep your bills paid. It has to be used. You know what I'm saying? It has to be used when you are uh, dealing with people. When people are doing nice things for you, wisdom has to be applied. You know what I'm saying? You got people who are competitive. You got a lot of women out there with that manly spirit who know how to use people to survive. You know what I'm saying? And they are people of color. They way worse than 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 um, than than a lot of white supremacists out here. A evil black person is way worse than a white supremacist. A white supremacist may just tell it how it is, man, or just keep it to themselves. You know what I'm saying? Donald Trump, man, he, he tell it how it is. He let you know. You know what I'm saying? He, some things ain't gonna fly with him. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but yeah, man, wisdom take no breaks, even when you're by yourself, even when you are with people, it it has to be used. It's even worse, you know what I'm saying, because I was a family man more than once. You know what I'm saying, I was a married man. You know what I'm saying, I had girlfriends. You know what I'm saying. And, um, and dealing with another person, man, wisdom is most most of the time it's being forced out of you and pushed to the side. And they want to voice their opinion and dominate you mentally and spiritually. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of African-American women, they have strong spirits. Strong spirits, man, where they, they want to put their foot in your ass. You know what I'm saying? They want to challenge you. They want to try you and see what you made out of. You know what I'm saying? They want to see if you if your balls are small. You know what I'm saying? They want to see if, if their dick is, is bigger than yours. It's, it's crazy. And I'm not in a position to, to really deal with a, a, a masculine, strong-spirited woman. I'm going to just tell it to you straight. You know what I'm saying? Where she feel like she want to take charge and dominate, you know, everything. Especially a broke one. Who ain't bringing in no income. And feel like she she has to say so. You know what I'm saying? But that's just a whole nother topic though, man. Wisdom take no breaks. Especially partner up and, and, and working with people who's not on the same... Uh, journey and spirit, spiritual path as you are on. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing about fighting, you know what I'm saying? There's no breaks in fighting. When you got to fight, it's a it's an everlasting battle to the day you die. You know what I'm saying? Even when you sleep, wisdom has to be applied, right? We are living in a world where our doors got to be locked. You know what I'm saying? All the doors got to be locked and sealed. You know what I'm saying? You may have a, a covetous. I, I stay around covetous people. I stay around. I got a neighbor who, who got cameras in the side of his house. And I've walked in his house and the man got his eyes on everything. You know what I'm saying? He got a, 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 a monitor with like damn near 10 or 15 uh uh, video images watching what's going on. Hey, I, I thank the Lord for that thing. Hey, we got security? Cool. I ain't gonna be mad at that. You know what I'm saying? Security's good. Make sure, you know what I'm saying, there ain't nobody breaking in our shit. You know? But I don't trust my enemies. You know what I'm saying? I do not trust people um, who who is, you know, who still kill and destroy. You know what I'm saying? For real. 
you know what I'm saying? You put your trust in man and be like, hey, I trust you fully. I'm going to make you my God. You my right hand man. Nah. You got to use wisdom. You know what I'm saying? You got to be like, you know, hey, uh, thanks for watching this, man. Uh, you know, thanks for looking out for a package that, you know, that was sent to my address and I wasn't home. You know what I'm saying? I may, you know, drop him a few, few bucks and be like, hey, thanks. Good looking out, man. You know what I'm saying? But... The word says, if you be among the indiscreet, observe the time. A person who doesn't use discretion, you know what I'm saying? A person who doesn't use wisdom, they are they're dangerous. You know what I'm saying? When you whenever you gotta smoke a cigarette, you know what I'm saying? Eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, do all types of abominable things, you don't have discretion. You know what I'm saying? Eat pork skins. Now, in this case, every week, um, the Sabbath day is broken. But I do have a uh, PTO, paid time off, where any day that I want off, I'm going to sacrifice my paid time off just to have those days off. And I think I might have maybe 28 to 30 hours off. I would sacrifice all my paid time off just to keep the Lord's uh, day holy and be like, you know what? I'm using my vacation on these days so I don't have to break the Lord's break the Lord's uh, rest day because that's a day where I need to be resting, studying and meditating and making sure my spirit gets rejuvenated, it gets re-cleansed because every time I'm in the midst or in the presence of Satan, or around lawless uh, people, it's gonna bring down your. It's gonna bring your value down. Um, there's a I think there's a scripture in Corinthians where it says, "Evil uh, communication corrupt good manners." So evil communication is um, a person living a lawless life, living a life where I don't give a damn. Um, I can do what I want to do, eat what I, eat what I want to eat. You know what I'm saying? They do all types of things that go against God. That's evil communication is when things that goes against God, it goes against the scriptures. And they happy to do that thing. You know what I'm saying? When you be amongst those people, observe the time. Don't be around them every day, all day. But God has defended me. And he has watched over me. I felt like I was in the lion's den. Not the porn shop, but under in somebody else's basement. Where a person, um, they speak good. They have some wise sayings coming out their mouth. They make pretty good, decent music. But they don't want to repent. They want, they don't, they, they, they continuously learn it, but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. They never able to humble down and be like, listen, man. You know, I need to apply 1 Kings 846. You know what I'm saying? I need to repent. I need to change my life. You know what I'm saying? I need to make attempts to not continuously stand in sin. You know what I'm saying? Playing with the devil within me. Feeding the devil inside. Starving my spirit. Not able to reviving the spirit you know what I'm saying? My spirit, you know what I'm saying, as being a Sagittarius snake and all that, spirit was dead. I had to pray to the Lord for him to revive the spirit. And now it's it's back as a as a as a newborn baby. It's it's it has to be it has to be continuously fed wisdom, righteousness truth understanding you know what I'm saying because I, I had I had to get it revived spiritually dead there are situations and scenarios I do not know how to deal with confidently you know what I'm saying most situations that I will, I will put myself in I will get devoured and taken over me being a single man I don't know how to deal with um, uh, a single female. Like if a woman was sizing me up, 
talking to me every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm not spiritually strong enough to resist her and and let her, you know, let her know, like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of work to do. Inside my mind and my spirit, I have a lot of work to do. Just best believe, I, I, I desire a woman. I crave a woman, but it's a lot that, that comes with that where you got to deal with her demons and you got to deal with yours. You know what I'm saying? You got to deal with all types of spirits, man. And you have to be, you got to have wisdom. You got to be, you know, strong. You can't be weak dealing with people, man. You can't be weak taking care of people and, and everything. You have to, you got to know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And the woman's the weaker vessel. You know what I'm saying? It's more that comes with it than just, you know, getting your rocks off in the bed and cuddling and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to teach her and educate her and and, and um and be able to come at her in a way where she'll be able to understand and not feel threatened, not feel unsafe. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a lot that comes with dealing with a woman, you know what I'm saying? Because she may have a very strong, passionate uh spirit you know what i'm saying um i think there's a verse that says um it, it goes into a, a woman with many words uh you know so it's, it's, it's something that goes with a quiet man and a woman with many words so a woman who talks a lot always taking a spotlight when you together and a woman taking a spotlight you just there as a little as a little uh as a little uh puppy a quiet little uh stuffed toy uh dog you know what I'm saying there's a problem Houston we have a problem you know what I'm saying so I don't want to be in a situation where I'm in a relationship and everywhere we go, I have a woman who's paranoid, talkative, and always a scene is, is being started. The woman has no peace. Everywhere we go, man, it's always some bullshit happening. Like, man, do you ever, you know, shut the hell up and relax? Nah. It's always, oh, what you staring at? What you doing talking to my man or anything? Dominating the whole the whole uh conversation. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, if it be the Lord's will and I have another woman, I need a woman who who knows that I am the man. She is not. She has a role to play. She is the woman. You know what I'm saying? She depends on me for information and knowledge and wisdom. You know what I'm saying? It makes no sense where uh, a man is at home and a woman is in church where she is influenced and, and easily, you know, taken over by many crazy spirits in these in these churches. Nah. Well, if I have a woman, got to use wisdom with her, man. You know what I'm saying? If she by herself in the home and I stay in the hood in the ghetto where there are niggas there, people are going to be knocking at my door, starting bullshit, ready to tear my house down. Nah. This is the way I want my relationship. You know what I'm saying? Either we work the same job or, you know what I'm saying, we out the house at the same time. We both got to be bringing in some income. She has, if she's going to be at home, she got to be spiritually strong enough to let me in the house and me in the house alone. No guest. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just keep it to you straight. Unless it's, it's trustworthy women with her. She she, she can um, have some sisters in the house to, you know, conversate and, and go over the scripts with and build spiritually. But a, another man being in my house and, and I'm not there, there's a problem. She got to inform me of what's going on in my absence. When I'm not there, we got to constantly be in communication. We got to constantly breathe wisdom in, inhale and exhale wisdom. Wisdom has to be applied, man. 
of course we're gonna have our ups and downs where there's there's uh there's times where we ain't gonna agree you know what i'm saying but the love has to still be there man we are we are in this world to strengthen and build each other man you know what i'm saying we gotta know our place in this world because last time i checked we still subject to payments you know what i'm saying we still have a nation of people above us doing better than us and and having life set up to a point where we have to to, to survive you want education you want a better job you got to go to your enemies like deuteronomy 28 and 48 says you know what i'm saying of course i want to evolve and and have a better paying job than than walmart but it takes one step at a time for me you know so i gotta make sure my bills are straight and then i'm gonna re reach out to to little colleges and, and probably universities or online classes and, and be able to you know have it go a step further so in my, in my early 30s right now you know what I'm saying i'm preparing myself to not have to work as hard and laborious in the future when I hit my 40s and my 50s because I may end up still be single. You know, so I may not have no support. This place may be burnt to a crisp. I don't know what the future may bring. But as the world is getting worse, you know what I'm saying, I have to apply wisdom and I got to keep God's laws no matter what. No matter who doesn't want to talk to me who want who don't want to communicate with me who wants to you know anything whoever don't even want me around them i still got to play my part and do what the lord wants me to do to hell with man if man don't want me to participate and worship with them at least i have tried to reach out to god and and, and try to play my part but um I'm about to uh, get off of here. It was nice speaking with y'all, man. Stay in the spirit. Uh, tune in my channel. Like, subscribe, and comment. And also, wisdom, take no breaks. Know that thing. You got to apply wisdom in your daily activities, your daily life. And when people are nice to you and when people are evil to you, wisdom has to be applied. My lo much love to y'all. Stay strong out there. Stay safe. Peace.